Hey, Kay, it's Dad calling. I don't know that uh, we need to panic just yet, but just want to let you know there's a small fire about a mile from our house, and uh, they just aborted us. Here we go, Holmes Road. Here's our the fire old chi fire chief's house, gone. Here we go, we're coming up. This is our side of the road. Wow. And here is our front driveway. Our front yard is just blackened trees. But all the little trees that we have babied and my favorite tree at the end of this is gone. This is just sheer black. And then there is where the house used to stand. Wow. Holy crikey. Oh, ready? yeah. All right, go ahead and turn it off. Okay. June 11th, 2013 was a huge turning point in my life. Losing our family home in a forest fire forced us to start over. We lost all of our childhood photos, our family treasures, heirlooms, all of our clothing and furniture. It was all gone in a moment. We had nothing but the clothes on our backs and a shared experience that would inevitably make us stronger. High winds and dry climates make forest fires out west incredibly dangerous. The path of destruction is ruthless and unbiased. Trees, habitats, homes, cars, nothing stands a chance against them. Yet from the ashes arises something new. A home rebuilt, a family unified, a landscape purified for new life. And for anyone willing to brave the elements, a beautiful playground for them to enjoy. Our journey started this winter in southern Montana, where we explored burn areas big and small, old and new. The destructive power of the forest fires was evident the entire time we were there, but we couldn't have been more pleased with the playgrounds that we got to enjoy. Against the window, heaven knows you've become. 
become a changer When it was time to return back to Colorado, we returned home to the two most impactful burn areas of the entire project. She is over and she is a flutter in peace and virtues treated for The first of these was the location of the Cameron Peak Fire, the largest forest fire in Colorado history. The last area that we traveled to is from a fire that happened almost 200 years ago. The fire destroyed a mining town and the forest surrounding it. The forest has since regrown and is now teeming with life. Tell me how do you see a 